Britain's Parliamentary Foreign Affairs Def and uh, Defence and National Security Committee. He says that this is a simple law and order issue. There's nothing to do with Sunni and Shia. There is no, no problem between Sunni and Shia. These are some acts are out of the, of the law. It is it's against the Shia before it's against the Sunni. It's ruining the places of the Shia, the, the interest of the Shia, not only the Sunni. That's why it is nothing to do with sectarianism. It is nothing to do against Sunni or against Shia. It is just a terror act or a riot or anything. Uh, it has nothing to do with the conflict or the differences. However, Nabil Rajab is vice president, actually he's president, he told me, of the Bahrain Center for Human Rights. He says the government's actions are politically motivated. I agree with my colleague uh, Al Ma'oud uh, that uh, the Bahraini issue is not a Sunni Shia issue, although Bahrain government tried to present it as a sectarian issue as part of a regional sectarian conflict, but, but it's not like that. It is a Shia ruling family issue because of the complaints that the, of discrimination on jobs and housing and municipality and economy and everywhere. So Shia were complaining in many years and that's why we think those people were arrested because those people are critics to government policy, especially in discrimination and trying to change the demography of the state by uh, naturalizing uh, many people from neighboring countries. That is the whole issue why those people today are in prison. We I, don't, nobody believes, nobody, none of the Bahraini citizens believe that no, any of those people could uh, be a terrorist. Right, as, as I understand it, you personally know some of these, these 23 people who... I know most just, of them. Yeah. In fact, my picture was uh, one of them as uh, one of the terrorists and was uh, broadcast by uh, Bahrain news agency. Agency, but then later, eight hours later, was removed, and right. I don't know why. All right, so who are they? What are these people like? Well, most of them are uh, political activists or human rights defenders or religious figures. That they are critics to government uh, policy, especially when to do with discrimination and naturalization and torture and ill treatment of prisoners in jail. They have very legitimate demand. Those people are very much respected in society. The story that the government is saying they are a terrorist plot, they can't sell it anymore to anybody. Thank you very much indeed for your insight. Uh, Nabil Rajab, the president of the Bahrain Center for Human Rights. Right, let's get some.